Hello kid, this video is of graphite session three. And in that you have already learned to understand how to shade different materials. So in this, I'm giving you a quick revision of the same. So first, we'll start with material wood. So for that, we'll draw a cube. Just draw two horizontal lines. And then we'll connect them with vertical lines. So this is just how we have drawn a square. Now we'll draw one more square on back side. Just connect them together with diagonal line. Now, as the wood is appears to be solid and opaque, these lines from the back side won't be visible. Now, for the shading, you can use any graphite pencil that you have. And first we'll shade this upper section, keep it quite light. Then we'll shade the front part. Then we'll shade this side part. We'll dog this section quite a bit. We'll dog it more. Now we'll define the ages. <clears throat> And we'll define corners also. Now, <clears throat> to make this block look more like of wood, what we do, we'll add a texture of wood. So how we do that? So watch here on screen, we just this kind of ovals, which help us to create the pattern, which is quite visible on wood. like this. We'll add the similar kind of pattern here on the upside. And we'll shade this section quite a bit to define the rough surface of wood. Here also, we'll make it a little bit look more rough. We follow the same pattern this side.
And with this, our wooden block is complete. Now we'll shade a glass, means a transparent medium. So for that, again, we'll draw a cube. The process is similar. First, we need to draw two squares. So one in front. Another one is on the back side. And then we'll connect them using diagonal line. Now, as the glass is transparent, so the these lines will be visible. Now, to shade glass, we need to keep our tones quite light. So first I'm applying the tone in this section. Then I'm shading this part. We'll keep our shading quite soft and blended. If the stroke appears to be hard, then it defines the material which is quite of solid or rough surface. So that's why keep your stroke quite soft. As glass appears to be smooth and shiny, so we need to keep our stroke soft. Now, after this, we'll use our eraser and define highlight. Use corner of your eraser and we'll erase this corner sections, this side. We we'll make the middle part quite more dark. And then we'll define more highlight in diagonal manner like this. After this, we'll add some diagonal strokes to make that highlight quite visible more. And when this glass shading is complete. Now after this, we'll shade a metal. So for to shade a metal here, I'm using a cylinder. For that, first we need to draw two vertical lines. And then we'll join them using a curve. We'll draw one more curve here on upper part. And then we'll draw an oval. In metal, uh, we receive a lot of shine and also the darkest tone. So what we do for that, and the, all the shade appears to be in vertical manner. So we'll start from a corner and we'll move forward the middle part, a mark vertical stroke. You need to understand how I'm holding my pencil and marking the strokes. So the strokes are in vertical manner. So move your pencil accordingly and keep your tones light in the middle part. And then again, as of moving towards corner, we'll dark the stone. This you have already learned in the previous session, how to define the dark tone. You need to apply more pressure on your paper to create dark tones. And when you are moving toward the center, Keep your pressure quite light, uh, less and don't move your pencil that much hard. Now, after this, we'll create different, different tones in a, in a manner of stripes. So what we do, see here, I've created a dark vertical line, then leave some space for light tone. Then again, I'm creating a dark line. 
and then I spread it quite a bit. Then I again, I create a dark line. So this is how we shade a metal. Then I'm, again, I'm defining it with a dark line. Then we'll apply more dark tone here on corner. And dark tone over here too. Finish the base. We'll also define the dark tone here. And we'll give a layer to this also. And define it like this. Now we'll add highlight. For that, again, use your eraser. Define a highlight on this part. this and add one more highlight here in this part now after this we'll sh shade a feather so the feather appears to be very soft so what you do first draw a curve like this and draw one more curve. Then hold your pencil in this manner and mark the stroke upside. And keep that stroke appears to be blended. Use your pencil very lightly. Follow the same pattern this side. Now, after this, we'll define few dark stroke. And this side also will mark the dark strokes. And so this is how we define different material with a graphite shading. So practice the same as your homework.